Brief, inshallah. The first one with regards to the uh, the physical means versus the religious means. And if uh, some people, they are extreme in following the physical means. Uh, if it's a physical mean, no one is to be blamed if they're taking the means. And what needs to be taken even more strongly are the religious means. So uh, the religious means should be, a person should believe in them more than any other means because it's uh, relying on the wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when it comes for someone is sick, to have in the heart that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that cures, the person would make ruqya and read Quran and having the certainty that this is more powerful than anything else. And he would take that as means and the dua and so on. And then the physical means, if it's taken, sure, to the best of one's ability and actually it should be done in the most perfect way with the intention of saving uh, life which is, needs to be saved for a person to be able to worship Allah. And taking the means to the best of one's ability does not negate the fact that the person re is relying upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actually, it's part of a tawakkul is that the heart is relying upon Allah while taking the best and the most important and physical means ever uh, unless a person is being extreme in it. This is something that the people, those who know the physical aspect of it, they might consider this is extreme. Like, for example, someone is, uh, as you know, if he's worried that he's going to get sick, so he isolates himself, close the doors, close the windows, and he sits and everything that comes, he has to clean. You know, the extreme becomes as, a, as if a person is already in a disease or something like this. So anything that is according to the expertise they would consider it extreme, then it's not physical means because those who have the, the knowledge of the physical means, they say this is not a mean. So if a person does it, that means it's a bad sign for him. Uh, but definitely to take the religious means as a, a stronger mean, this is in the heart, yes, this is a stronger mean because this is clearly stated in the wahi from Allah. And the other means can sometimes work, sometimes does not work. The second question with regards to the fadl of Allah, uh, the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the bounty of Allah, he gives it to whoever he wills. As you mentioned, that the real fadl is for a person to be obedient to Allah. So uh, people think that uh, it's the bounty of Allah that if someone is rich or strong or healthy and so on. And if he is not, that means he did not receive the bounty of Allah. This is not true. Yes, these are from the bounties of Allah for people to be obedient to Allah. So uh, that makes it clear if we have example of two people. Someone, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gave him the best health and the best wealth. But they are disobedient to Allah. Versus someone else have been deprived from health and wealth. But he's obedient to Allah. Who is the one that is receiving the bounty of Allah? The second one. Because the first one, if he continues like this and he dies, the wealth and the health will be part of his uh, punishment in the day of judgment. He will be punished because of his health. He will be punished because of his wealth. Because he used them in spreading corruption on the face of earth. So it's not really a bounty, it was a punishment for him, but it's all by the end of things, how he ended his life and things like this. So the Quran gives us the clear understanding of what is al-fadl and what is the bounty and what is the mercy. And uh, all of that is based on the deen of Allah. And that's why those who are obedient to Allah and steadfast, what Allah gives them in their hearts of the richness in their hearts is far beyond than what even some people that are rich and healthy would complain and, and have these types of... Uh, Sicknesses in the heart. Allah will die. No. Shaykh, you know, like most of the people given wealth or power, whatever uh, apparently look like, they transgress and they oppress. Most of them. Yes. If you see the people who, um, in the history of what Quran mentioned, the rich and powerful people are more disobedient and they give their self submission. No. So most of the, even we see these days, they. Allah give them bounty, but they don't use it to obedience of Allah, rather transgression or oppression. Mm. On the flip side is that the people who have given the bounties of deen, they are also complaining that, you know, we don't have anything. It's like, so we, you know, there's where the depth no. going on. We'll if a person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give him deen and he's complaining, that means he's not been given the deen in the full sense of it. That means he has weak iman. Because the people with the strong iman, they would never complain in a way that why this is happening to us. That means they don't have the strong belief in the Qadr of Allah. But rather they should enjoy what Allah gave them and they understand that they are in a test. It doesn't mean that they would not take the means to change their state. They should take the means and ask and work hard and do whatever they want. But at the same time, their hearts are content knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is decreeing for them the best. So it's... It's uh, who are the people of the deen, those who are applying the deen, part of application of the deen 
is to witness the test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be always pleased or being patient with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, they're not upon the deen in the, in the, in the perfect sense. But Shaykh, when he came the books, like he did the was working with a Jew, you know, he worked his time and he did such a great job. You say, if you work more, I'll give double them. He said, no, this is done for the this. Because that time is limited, you know. And we have rights on us, on family, on the rights of Allah, and yeah. many other responsibilities. So if you, even you're doing a lot with, you earn the risk, you know, but you're violating so many rights, even your own health, you know. And yes. but that extreme of, you know, it's halal risk, but extreme of means taking. No. Because and that's, where is the degree of, where is the iman? And that's different from, of? yes, it's different from one person to the other, from one environment to the other. And especially when we read about the stories of the ulama or the originations of Islam, they some of them when, when they would do something only for a period of time so that they are busy with something else, not because they're doing it because they want to rest and have fun in the dunya. And some of them would open his hanut, his store, because this was also easy and valid at their time. Uh, once he got the sustenance of the day, he shut down and he go busy with something else. But nowadays, for example, if someone, the only way that he does this is he has to work eight hours a day. So he does not have the luxury uh, to do this. Plus, he's using the time. Not everybody has to be upon one thing or the other. Plus, he's using this for the sake of Allah, whether it's with wealth to be spent for the sake of Allah, to be, uh, that's not necessarily bad for him. For, for some individuals, that's why individually, they should ask the people of knowledge and see how the, whether their sins or not, and whether the, the benefit that they have or not, not everybody's the same. Some people, the, the way to knowledge is not their way. And other people, the way of, having you know businesses and things like this it's their way to support the deen also so that requires tawfiq from allah and help and consulting with the people of knowledge and yes and the hearts to be attached to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yes, sometimes it's a person has the choice but instead of limiting himself or even someone have his own business instead of delegating the matter and benefit the muslims and making them work and things like this no he put it all upon himself so and he opened 100 stores and then he's day and night working, for example. Where is the rights of other things in your life? We don't say to him, no, make it only one store. Sure, but make, delegate, hire people. You, instead of being a billionaire, be a millionaire. It's okay, inshallah. And other people can benefit from it because for the sake of Allah, for you to be able to fulfill the other rights in your life. And the same thing with everything else. Alhamdulillah. Allah 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 Allah